All right, let's talk about some early garden management. Um, this applies for every year, but this year has been a little bit um, different. The weather has been just really cold um, for during the days and then at night, it just hasn't been very good. So we're just gonna talk about beans and tomatoes today and just what we should be doing. So here are some beans that I've planted probably almost two weeks ago um, and they're doing good. These are black beans, I'm really excited for them. Um, but if we go down the line, we'll notice that we are starting to miss some holes and stuff like that and they're getting smaller. Now the soil is um, and not the best as I move down towards the garden. But um, I just want you to know, like even though you don't see them above ground, if you go and look really quick, or if you start to dig around, you'll see a little guy right there. He's just starting to pop up. Um, sometimes even if you just lightly dig in the ground, you'll be able to um, see them come up. So don't give up on them yet. Um, just go ahead and give a little, um, see here's another one. I'll just give them a little quick in the ground like this and see if you can see them or not. And then if they're there, pack them back in. If not, then plant a new seed because we still have plenty of time. So, and you'll be able to see um, the beans are down here like this. And then you'll actually see, here's one that you can barely see. Where is it? Let's see, right there. And then you'll be able to see some really cool spots where the, the dirt starts to pop up. And you're like, oh, there you guys are. So that's um, that's kind of what I'm doing with beans. See if they're there. If they're not there, then go ahead and replant them. Um, see, it gets much less down here, but they're coming. So they're gonna be here, so it's okay. So that's beans. So we wanna make sure if the beans aren't there that you're replanting the beans. And then as far as for tomatoes, I'm using these hog panels um, and um, cattle panels, whatever you guys got. These are the best ways to be able to um, to be able to stake them up that I have found. So like for this guy right here, excuse my shadow, try to get out of the way. For this guy right here, the best way to go ahead and do that is when they're small like this, is to just give them a train. You're just training them. So you're just gonna put them in here and they'll, well, you know, be careful with them because they're small. You just gotta get them in there like that. And then um, you can wrap their little, it's hard to do it with one hand, um, wrap their <clears throat> stems around it and we'll get them in there. And then you just gotta give them a quick train like that. And so some of these are looking pretty stressed out, but the weather, like I said, has been really cold. And um, rightly so, they should be stressed out. <clears throat> it's been cold and yeah, kind of damp a little bit. Um, it was really dry, really cold. So I think we're on the mend. We're gonna get going here with the hot weather and this, they're gonna start to really take off. So they look a little dead at the bottom, as you can see. But if you move up towards the top, that's all the green growth that's doing really good. So what you could do is, say on this one right here, you can come in here and go ahead and give them a quick trim of these dead ones because they're not gonna recover. And the, the plant is spending energy to um, repair them and they are, they're just, they need to be picked anyways because they're towards the ground because um, you want to keep uh, trimming them up as we as they get bigger and bigger um, especially those ones that have like some sun shock or it's been too cold so like this one right here see right there I'm gonna go ahead and give that one a little trim off and then we'll be good so there's your beans and tomatoes so uh, good luck with the garden this year I think things are gonna work out we just had to get through some cold spells first 